In the football title race, heroes and villains abound. Some scored last-minute winners, while others slipped and fell to the ground. There were legends who lifted their teams, and some who caused the fright. But one thing's for sure, the drama never ends in the title fight for the light. Starting from the recent Oh My Days, did you see Kevin De Bruyne's hero performance against Arsenal? He was an absolute hero for City, shattering Arsenal's dreams like they were made of glass. And that one-on-one -on -one play with with Haaland, chef's kiss. Mwah. It was like watching a masterclass in football. The Arsenal defence were left in tatters, completely unable to handle the quality of City's attacking players. I mean, let's be real, it's going to take a miracle for Arsenal to bounce back from this, but hey, at least they can take comfort in the fact that they were torn apart by just one player, right? Speaking of villains in the Premier League title race, let's not forget about William Gallas' infamous meltdown during Arsenal's 2007-08 season. The Arsenal captain had seen his side blow a 2-1 lead against 10 men, with Birmingham's equaliser coming via the penalty spot in the fifth minute of injury time. After their draw to Birmingham City, he was deemed not good enough to be captain of the team that was in need of motivation. Gallas himself was demotivated, which was understandable given Eduardo's horrific broken leg earlier in the game. However, his late meltdown during the game was slightly inexplicable and arguably unforgivable. Instead of trying to rouse his disappointed teammates after Birmingham's equaliser, he was sitting on the pitch having the mother of all strops. With that kind of leader, it's hardly surprising that Arsenal subsequently collapsed and finished third, four points behind champions Manchester United. Elsewhere, they say not all heroes wear capes, and Thibaut Courtois proved just that when he helped Atletico Madrid win their first league title in 18 years in the 2013-14 season. In their final game against Barcelona, Courtois denied one crucial chance, which ultimately secured the title for Los Roji Blanco. He was simply exceptional, who won the Zamora Trophy as the goalkeeper who conceded the fewest goals that season and was even in the running for the Ballon d'Or. But it was his heroics in that last game that made him a true hero in the eyes of Atletico fans. That's the beauty of La Liga. Talk about evils, there was an instance when two defenders became villains and faced the wrath of of the fans. Ah, the infamous 4-4 draw between Liverpool and Arsenal in the 2008-09 season. Arshavin may have been the hero with four goals, but let's not forget the true villains of the piece. Fabio Aurelio and Alvaro Albaloa. These two defenders were so bad that day they made a clown look like a tactical genius. Their disastrous blunders and complete lack of discipline were responsible for the Russians' quadruple, and ultimately cost Liverpool their chance to win the Premier League that season. If only they had some sort of basic control over the ball, they might have avoided that disappointing 4-4 scoreline and secured the title earlier than Klopp's era. On the other hand, the story of United boy might inspire you. Once upon a time, David Beckham was living every footballer's worst nightmare. The world watched in shock as he was sent off in the 1998 World Cup. But our hero didn't let that break him. He took the criticism in his stride and came back stronger than ever. As a key member of Manchester United's treble winning team in 98-99, he proved that he was a force to be reckoned with. In the final game of the season against Tottenham, United found themselves a goal down. But with his signature grit and determination, Beckham fought back and scored the crucial equaliser just before half-time. It was a moment that would go down in history as he helped his team secure the win and hold off Arsenal's challenge for the title. His heroics didn't go unnoticed as he was nominated for the FIFA Best Player Award in 1999. A true legend of the game, David Beckham proved that no matter how hard you fall, you can always pick yourself back up and become a hero. From last day joy to last day agony, not every time Manchester United had a happy ending. Speaking of last day drama, in the 94-95 season was an entertaining one with United two points behind the leaders Blackburn. Blackburn Rovers played against Liverpool and despite leading, Liverpool pulled off a comeback and won 2-1. Meanwhile, Manchester United faced off against West Ham and the match was tied one all. United had a chance to steal the title from Blackburn but Andy Cole, the striker, missed not one but two crucial chances to score. Rumour has it that he had over 200 misses that season. 
Sadly, he became an evil figure in the eyes of United fans, and Blackburn went on to win the title with United trailing behind by just one point, and now the final day of the 2011-2012 season. Pure drama. Manchester City and United were neck and neck in the title race. United had already won their last game against Sunderland 1-0 and were eagerly watching City's match against QPR. The game was going back and forth until the last few minutes when QPR took a shock lead against City. United fans were ecstatic, but the joy didn't last long. City refused to give up and staged a stunning comeback with hero Sergio scoring a dramatic injury time winner that secured the title for City. The camera cut to Sir Alex Ferguson, who looked like he'd swallowed a lemon. His face was priceless, and the moment has since gone down in history as one of the best in Premier League history. And adding to that, John Stones was another hero who laid the foundation for the 2018-19 City title win. He made a vital goal line clearance against Liverpool to secure a crucial 2-1 win. If he hadn't made that clearance, the outcome could have been very different. It was a season in which Man City and Liverpool left all their rivals in their wake, with only a few points separating them. But Stones' crucial intervention helped Man City clinch the title in a tense battle with Liverpool. The loss to Manchester City ended up being Liverpool's only loss of the season, but a run of four draws in six games proved costly in the end. Manchester City nicked the title by going on a 14-game winning run themselves. However, somewhere else, the former England goalkeeper David Seaman turned out to be a liability for Arsenal in their hunt for the title in the 02-03 season. In a crucial game against Leeds, Seaman failed to make any significant saves and conceded three goals, dooming Arsenal's chances of lifting the trophy. To make matters worse, their bitter rivals Manchester United ended up winning the title. Seaman's poor performances were indicative of his declining form, and it was no surprise that he left Highbury at the end of the season. The last hero villain duo is linked. First up, the hero is Luis Suarez. He was a beast on the field for Barcelona in the 15-16 season. He was the top scorer in La Liga and was an integral part of the Blaugrana squad alongside Messi. His form was crucial in the title decider, especially when he scored a hat-trick in the final match against Granada to secure the trophy. But that's not all. Suarez was on fire all season, scoring hat-tricks against teams like Getafe, Athletic Club, Celta and Sporting Gijon. He even smashed in four goals and three assists in a game against Deportivo La Coruña. And let's not forget his incredible performance against Madrid, where he scored a goal and set up another two to help Barcelona to a 4-0 victory. Overall, Suarez had 81 goal involvements that season, with 66 in the league alone. He was unstoppable. The last one is the famous Steven Gerrard slip. He told his pals that you cannot let that slip, but he eventually slipped and then Demba Bar scored. And talk about irony. And well, the football world has always made memes out of that moment. A shocker that made Liverpool's title quest a far cry. Okay, okay, that's more than enough info for the day. While you're at it, please like the video if it's informative. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss any videos we post. We'll catch you in the next one.